Yo, JD here to all of us, and as you can see, we are back with career mode again for part 9 at Austria here today, which I have to say is definitely is one of my favourite tracks. I know I say that a lot, but this one, I say, is definitely in the top 3 on the game, and I've got an AOR this weekend as well, so be quite different to the equal car I'll be driving. But another thing is, this is my first race, which you may or may have not noticed, you may notice it through this corner here, as you can see, is with the wheel. So this is my first career mode with the wheel that I've ever done. And the difficulty, I've left it on 110% AI because my thinking and the advice I was given to quite a few of you guys on Twitter as well, is to just throw myself in the deep end the only way I'm going to improve the fastest is just to make it as challenging as possible for myself. And I know that because of learning other assists of when I did years ago. The only way to do it is just to turn it off and do it. So I'm going to leave it on 110%, which means we may not get in the points as often as we did with the controller because I still have better pace on the controller. So we're just about keeping it on track there. But this lap is going pretty decently. But as I said, that is the only way to learn, and I have to say, I had a lot of fun doing this. I'm going to have a lot more fun recording, a lot more career mode of this. So as you can see, our qualifying, we actually qualify in P16, so still beating our teammate, which I was pretty happy with. And our pace wasn't too bad. I know it's quite a short track, but it wasn't too bad. It's not as bad as I was expecting, and there's a lot more room to improve, obviously, and to be more comfortable and everything, but that's going to take maybe be months until we get up to the max speed of what I can really do in this but starting this race now done quite a bit online recently with the wheel as well so I definitely had some wheel to wheel experience at least using the clutch pedal to actually do it instead of holding in the panel something I definitely do need to change we're getting a decent start as it is using a two front wing I think my rear wing's like on I think it's like four or five or something like that so trying to go for maximum speed as possible for this but making up one position already into turn one staying on the ultra soft tires now so defending on the inside and nicking another place down the inside of the Saints as well which we managed to do just quite nicely but you know may notice i've struggled to look behind because of my settings on my wheel the look behind button is a really awkward position for me to put it in so i'm gonna have to play around about a little bit more as we go down the inside of Saints the signs and Magnussen as well, but he manages to just get us back on the exit. So, feeling quite good control and attraction. I'm not really pushing it as much as I can be, but that will that's definitely something that's just going to happen in time. As we're going through these corners, it's really, really satisfying on the wheel, particularly these last two corners as well. As we're defending down the inside of Saints, if we could just do it and signs sorry i always get that name completely wrong i just have to think of heinz heinz beans and then i just remember his name from there but um managing to keep our 14th position at the moment and um but yeah as i say looking back it's quite an awkward angle for me so i'm gonna to have to definitely change that on the control settings at this point but we have to actually rely on our mirrors may even thinking of doing cockpit i don't know but let me know what you think if you want me to go cockpit or keep it in this position but just trying to keep within distance of Magnussen running on that curb. If you accelerate in that, it's pretty much an auto spin curb. So you, if you're riding on it, then you have to go off it before you go on the full throttle. But again, still defending down the inside as he's going down right down the inside of us, so leaving him room on the inside. And <laughs> at this point, I was getting kind of frustrated because I just really wanted a break or getting into a rhythm, but it wasn't really allowing me 110%. And I just wanted time to just put some laps together first but I suppose this is going to be the best way to learn really just not having not giving yourself that time or not the AI yeah, not giving you that time same for online as well where I was being thrown around like a rag doll yesterday that's going to be the way to really to learn because you have to adapt to those situations pretty quickly it's like in football time on the ball the best players you know don't really need that much time on the ball and that's a pretty poor example but Hopefully you know what I mean. But now a few people have actually pitted down. We're in P11, so only one position away. Considering the difficulty, we haven't actually changed it at all. Uh, I was pretty happy with this performance, being quite consistent at this point, going right into the pit, so just managing to slow it down. And now we've got to use our clutch pedal as signs is actually coming as well behind us. So he's just following us no matter what, which is 
<laughs> I was actually getting quite annoyed. I just wanted to just leave me alone this race, just to allow me to focus. But getting a decent-ish pit stop, but you can see mucking around the controls here and trying to find the pit limiter button as well. And the one complaint I have with this wheel, when I do a full wheel review video, probably this weekend, is when you're changing fuel, you don't have a D-pad on this wheel, so it's really awkward because when you actually change it with the little analog stick you have on it, it kind of like shuffles down, it kind of like moves it automatically down, and you end up changing the brake bias or differential or something by mistake when you're actually changing the fuel. So that's a little complaint I have of it at the moment, but I, as I said, I'll be doing a full complete review of that hopefully coming up this weekend. But now coming through here now, came out of 16th place and uh, signs is we're actually maintaining the gap behind him at this point as he's a yellow flag. I think someone has gone off at this point and someone's gone out of the race. Nico Hulkenberg has gone out of the race. That's a complete shock. He never gets any luck <laughs> in this game. He does in real life as well, but virtual safety car and just keep him at the speed limit. I think they've updated the glitch where if you just go on the gas when it's red when the safety car is ending. If you're still in the red, you could get away with it and you could gain so much time. I think they've actually taken that out now, so I'm not really going to take any risk at this point. Try not to use really any flashbacks as possible, uh, even in career mode or anything at all, and especially when I do TT. If I crash, I crash. And same for this race. I don't really want to be using any flashbacks because I want to just make myself as complete as possible uh, whilst trying to learn this new device. But Safety cars ending now, and a few people haven't appeared. So I was hoping, I was hoping we had enough pace to p potentially catch the group ahead. Because if we can finish in the points in our first race of the wheel against 110 II, then I would be, I'd be chuffed if I did that. I'd be like over the moon if I could do that. But taking this first corner pretty nicely, I have to say I really do enjoy this track. It's really, really satisfying to drive, but very very hard on these last three quarters to keep it within the track when you've got that maximum commitment you just got to know that degree of lock you've got to turn in and a few people coming out of the pits now so we've gone to p13 again and magnuson looks like he's actually gained a little part of time in us and he's gone the ultra soft as well so <sighs> yeah a bit disappointing we couldn't make up enough time but it's going to be expected if we were on the control around here i i think i would have really Thought my pace would have, would have been that much quicker from what I compared about maybe a few tenths to half a second or that quicker. I think we could have been really strong in the dry around here, even though in the dry anyway, it was hard to get points. I, I know we could have been better, but I'm really looking forward to this journey as Ricardo is that's come out of the pit style. So let's see if we could do anything with him. But he's on the ultra soft tyres. I don't know quite what's happened to him. He's something's definitely happened to him because he's no way should be this far down, but. Not leaving us too much room. Trying to go for the switch back, but he's just, just got so much more traction. That Red Bull and the Ultra Soft tyre. There's going to be just absolutely no competition through here. So let's see. Using the DRS. So it's starting to gain a little bit now. Locking up. And I start to lock up towards the end of the stint as we get in the dirty air, which makes the car just a little bit unsettled there as well. But starts to lock up quite a lot in the end of this race for some reason. I don't know why. At the start, I was fine, but... I don't know, maybe the tyres starting going off a little bit, but the tyres should be relatively good condition, but going through turn one now. And we've got Palmer six seconds behind us, and we're just going to go through lap by lap because we can't really keep up with the guys ahead of us because um, they've got fresher tyres as well. And Palmer's actually started to catch us on those ultra soft tyres in the Renault, which we know is not a bad car in this game, even though Palmer may not be the best driver, but <laughs> the Renault is still a pretty good car in these settings as well so two laps to go now and we're being caught by a second or so a lap so i really did not want to lose t palmer even though there's no points on the table for this race not really looking likely unless someone crashes out ahead of us maybe you can see our engine now definitely some components we're gonna have to change for next race for sure and yeah coming on to this last lap we're we're just being caught at this point and as i said just Really for pride, I didn't want to lose his P13, but with the engine components, um, R&D, haven't upgraded anything again because as I said in my last video, my plan is to just collect a lot of resource points, build it all up, and then spend it all pretty much in one go. Um, that's really my strategy, just to do that and just to buy the quality control and the efficiency first, so it makes parts cheaper in future. 
because I plan to stay with this team and just to see how fast we can actually get this car. So it'll be a journey with this car and a journey of this device and the wheel I'm using to see how fast we can get both devices. Um, so that would be pretty interesting. But coming well on this last night now, staying on that curb is a curb you do not really want to be on because you could definitely just spin out. Coming kind of through this section, my favourite section on this track, I really do love these corners with this. Just the precision you could be, so throwing it in, but in this car there's so much more understeer in this, so just not a really good exit up here as well as a Renault with Palmer's got a really really good exit, we're trying to squeeze him down the inside, we're trying to hold it round the outside, just try and just hold on to a position, I was really really desperate, so leaving room on the inside as well, trying to get dragged to line, DRS, but he's just beating us to line for P13 and I was pretty annoyed at that to be honest I really wanted to do it for pride and we could have done a flashback but as I said I want to keep this uh, career mode genuine so if I make a mistake I make a mistake and unless we crash out or anything that like on lap one I wouldn't do that but I want to keep it as real as possible and uh, yeah we just lost it on the last corner so pretty disappointing but we'll be able to see in the standings at the end of it Checo <laughs> Sergio Perez is on the podium and I have to say this season he's just been on steroids literally I, I don't know what's happened to him he's beating the two Red Bull drivers and it's really annoying for me <laughs> when I raced him in previous races and he's absolutely on steroids for this season I don't know what has happened to him so that is it from this Grand Prix come home in P14 against the Ultimate AI which I can't really complain about and really to be expected and Hopefully when we start upgrading the car and improve myself as well now um, with this new device then I'm really looking forward to what we can do. So I really hope you've enjoyed this career mode series. Thank you for support recently in my videos. It's been insane and I hope you're enjoying your day and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.